I have no idea how to start this, so I might as well just start it out like this. Hello, everyone. My name is Coast 500 and welcome to a brand new series, hopefully, called Real Talk. Now, what this is, is it's basically just me taking anywhere from 6 to 20 minutes talking about real life shit. Whether it's video game companies or anything going on in the world or even just YouTube channels or this channel in general. And I honestly have no idea how to start this off, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. So I wanted to start off with THQ. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of THQ. They were founded in 1989, and they pretty much died in 2013. They pretty much went bankrupt, and some of their games were working out anymore. If you don't know who THQ is, look at some of the PS PS2 games, along with WWE, SmackDown vs. Raw, Darksiders, games like those are THQ. Now, THQ's last game, I believe, was Darksiders 2 in 2012. And they sold their game, I guess their gaming, game studios, whatever the fuck they're called. Sold them to Crytek, Ubisoft, and... I gotta say, I miss them. I really do miss them. I wish that they didn't die back in 2013. They were in their prime from 2009 to 2013. And THQ Nordic was born. And... <sighs> THQ Nordic has made some of the popular-ish games that you might be familiar with. And they are, they're coming out with Darksiders 3 this year because I'm sure some people played Darksiders 2 and when they found out that THQ died, they were probably like, so now what is that? Is that the end of the series? But no, since it's the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, THQ Nordic was born in 2011 while THQ is in their prime. Because they knew that after they were out of the prime, they were going to start dying off. And I guess it's a good thing that THQ Nordic was born. Because otherwise, I wouldn't enjoy the games that I know and love. And yes, I'm cracking my knuckles. I see, I see you in the comments saying, Oh, you need to stop doing this shit. Shut the fuck up. I can do what I want. Well... Not entirely. Fuck. Um, let's see. The shit in the channel has been I interesting. Now, whenever people dislike my videos, I try to figure out, you know, what's wrong. So, that's why I always say, you know, comment down. Because I want to know what, like, what you guys want to see, what you don't want to see. I want to try to make it so everyone is happy and like with best of destiny 2 part 2 i get a dislike and um I, I always try to figure out what's wrong like what you guys don't like i always try to fix it but then i'm a very very small youtuber so it doesn't people shouldn't really care but i care because i want to I want to find out what's wrong because I think I did a good job some of my friends think I did a good job some of you guys don't think I did a good job and I want to know why unfortunately I can't work this out with you guys if you don't leave a comment but it's always it's always good to hear your guys suggestions or just saying what you guys want differently in the videos or if you just want a completely different video I'm always open to that 
in some of the streams I did, I actually ended up deleting because none of them really got any views, and some of them I didn't even do jack shit in them. I mean, I... I've been told by a lot of people that I, I'm not going to be the next PewDiePie. That's a good thing. I don't want to be the next fucking PewDiePie. I want to be my... I want to be my own channel. And... With a community that I'm slowly building up... It makes it... Easier. It, it makes me... Happy to know that there are people out there all across the world who watch my content. I was looking at the analytics and oh, almost 80% of my views come from not subscribed people. I mean, that's good and all that a lot of you non subscribed people are watching. But it'd also be much appreciated ish if you would subscribe but to be honest that's all up to you because you guys you guys can subscribe if you like what I'm doing um what the fuck's going on outside um I fuck Fuck, I just forgot what I was going to say. About 80% of you in the U.S. are watching. Um, well, 80% of you are in the U.S. About 18% eight, of you, Russia, Saudi Arabia, U.K., Ireland, Germany. It's, it's amazing to see what kind of community I'm building, and I want to keep seeing this grow. And the last topic I want to talk about is just... I'm sure you guys have seen in the news about Logan Paul making a fucking video or by f whatever the fuck it is about how terrible his year was. Why the fuck do you need to do that? I mean, we all know what you did. Because to be honest, I think pretty much every YouTuber is better than that fuck. Now, if you're a Logan Paul fan and you're typing in the comments, Oh, you hate Logan Paul. I'm unsubscribing. Shut the fuck up. Okay? Just shut the fuck up. People putting down all these fucking comments saying, "Oh, oh, you hate this person because of this. Oh, you, ha oh, you hate playing this game because of that." Can you just, can you, can you just stop? Because to me, I'm just getting sick and tired of it. And people tell me to play certain games. I don't have an Xbox. I prefer PlayStation over and pretty much anything else. Now, I don't understand why you like certain YouTubers even after all the shit that they did because Logan Paul is a figure that even kids look up to. And I understand this was still a while back, but when he filmed a dead person and put it on YouTube, what the fuck were you thinking? Like, did your brain just not work from the time you filmed it to the time that you were editing it and uploaded it? Because I don't understand how society works anymore. I don't want to know how society works anymore because it's just gotten god-awful. And with all these school shootings, 
I don't think that teachers should be using guns because what if the student got locked out of the classroom and tried getting in and the student got shot? Well, that's the teacher's fault. Anyway, this has been Real Talk. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys have more of this. Hope you guys have topics for me to talk about. Suggestions for Real Talk. Suggestions for pretty much any video. Uh, I, I don't know what else to say. I mean... Like, comment, subscribe, all that shit, and, uh, see you guys in the next one. See ya. We were smoking chill It was on a gym at lunch We thought it was real I was even feeling mad If I ain't even care yeah, Just to be around you Made it worth it I dropped out But you still said I'm perfect I remember